This is the Music History Today podcast for April 1st. On today's show, there's a lot of loss, unfortunately. MC Hammer suffers a monetary loss, two groups lose their lead singers, and two legends end up losing the ultimate battle. First up, though, on this date in 1930, entertainer Marlena Dietrich's movie, The Blue Angel, premiered in movie theaters. In 1961, singer Tammy Faye married televangelist Jim Baker. In 1964, John Lennon reunited with his father, who he hadn't seen in 17 years. In 1965, the movie musical The Sound of Music was released in movie theaters. In 1969, the Muscle Shoals Sound Studios opened. In 1970, John Lennon and Yoko Ono played an April Fool's joke on the media, telling them that they were both getting sex change operations. In 1972, the Mar y Sol rock concert took place in Puerto Rico. In 1973, John Lennon and Yoko Ono formed their own country and called it Newtopia. In 1983, Kirk Hammett got the call to audition for Metallica. In 1985, David Lee Roth left Van Halen. He would reunite with the band two more times. In 1990, Duff McKagan of Guns N' Roses and Mandy Bricks of Lame Flames were divorced. In 1992, Billy Idol was fined only $2,000 for hitting a woman. In 1996, MC Hammer filed for bankruptcy protection. Also on that same day, the band Good Charlotte was formed. In 2007, the Hammersmith Palais in London, England held its final concert. In 2008, Scott Whelan left Velvet Revolver. On that same day, YouTube did the first official Rick Roll as an April Fool's joke. In 2013, the K-pop duo GB9 was formed. In 2016, Guns N' Roses reunited the popular lineup, including Axl Rose, Slash, and Duff McKagan. And in 2020, Dolly Parton donated $1 million to help fund research into a COVID-19 vaccination. Her donation actually led to them making the vaccine. In classical music in 1822, composer Luigi Cherubini became the director of Paris's Conservatoire de Paris, a position he held for almost 20 years. In award ceremonies that were held on April 1st in 1956, Damn Yankees won Best Musical at the Tony Awards. In 2012, Blake Shelton, Miranda Lambert, and Taylor Swift were among the big winners at the Academy of Country Music Awards. And in 2017, Bob Dylan received his Nobel Prize for Literature. Albums that were released on April 1st include in 1959 when John Coltrane released Giant Steps, in 1964 Marvin Gaye released When I'm Alone I Cry, in 1970 Cat Stevens released Mona Bone Jacone, also on that same day Joni Mitchell released Ladies of the Canyon. In 1973, Leonard Cohen released live songs. In 1974, Harry Nilsson released the soundtrack to the movie Son of Dracula. In 1975, Journey released their self-titled album. In 1976, Rush released 2112. In 1977, The Clash released their EP Capital Radio. In 1981, The Grateful Dead released Reckoning. In 1982, Trooper released Money Talks and Aldo Nova released his self-titled album. In 1983, Men at Work released Cargo. In 1985, Paul Young released The Secret of Association. In 1987, Suzanne Vega released Solitude Standing. In 1989, Black Sabbath released Headless Cross. In 1990, the Afghan Whigs released Up To It. In 1991, School of Fish released their self-titled album. In 1997, Lit released Tripping the Light Fantastic. In 2002, Simple Minds released Cry. In 2003, Stabbing Westward released The Essential Stabbing Westward. Cher released The Very Best of Cher. And Ringo Starr released Extended Versions. In 2008, The Apples and Stereo released electronic projects for musicians. Van Morrison released Keep It Simple. R.E.M. released Accelerate. And The Rolling Stones released the original soundtrack to their documentary Shine a Light. In 2013, the Jerry Garcia Band released June 26, 1981, Warfield Theater, San Francisco, California. In 2014, Jackson Brown released Looking Into You, a tribute to Jackson Brown. 
And in 2016, Charles Bradley released Changes and Cheap Trick released Bang Zoom Crazy Hello. Singles that were released on April 1st include in 1958 when Elvis Presley released Don't You Think It's Time. In 1960, the Everly Brothers released Kathy's Clown. In 1964, the Kinks released Long Tall Sally. In 1966, David Bowie released Do Anything You Say and Sam and Dave released Hold On, I'm Coming. In 1970, the Monkees released Oh My My. In 1976, Paul McCartney and Wings released Silly Love Songs. In 1986, Tears for Fears released Mother's Talk. In 1990, Kiss released Rise to It. And in 2002, Elton John released Original Sin. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcast from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on April 1st include classical composer Sergei Rachmaninoff, blues singer Alberta Hunter, Mark White of ABC, singer and actress Bijou Phillips, songwriter and guitarist Arthur Smith, singer and actress Debbie Reynolds, singer Jim Ed Brown, John Barbata of The Turtles and also Jefferson Airplane, Ronnie Lane of The Small Faces, Robin Scott of M, Phil Margo of The Tokens, Alan Blakely of The Tremolos, singer Frank Gehry, poet and singer Gil Scott Heron, Jeff Picaro of the group Toto, singer Susan Boyle, Hilary Scott of Lady Antebellum, now called Lady A, musician Troy Baker, guitarist Phil Demel, rapper Kid Inc., singer Josh Herbert, singer Ella Airy, singer Aliyah Awad, singer Jazzy B, country music singer Kip Moore, record label owner John Butler, blues singer Lucille Bogan, singer Keith St. John, and opera singer Elaine Arnold. Artists who unfortunately passed away on April 1st include composer Francisco de Peñalosa, who passed away in 1528 at the age of 58. Composer Alonzo Mudara passed away in 1580 at the age of 70. Composer Louis Lully passed away in 1734 at the age of 69. Composer Narciso Casanovas passed away in 1799 at the age of 52. Composer Louis Chambre passed away in 1807 at the age of 69. Composer Vaclav Propner passed away in 1807 at the age of 61. Composer Carl Neuner passed away in 1830 at the age of 51. Opera singer Guadida Pasta passed away in 1865 at the age of 67. Composer Amy LeBourne passed away in 1866 at the age of 98. Composer Eugene Gautier passed away in 1878 at the age of 56. Composer Johann Albert passed away in 1915 at the age of 82. The man nicknamed the father of ragtime music. Pianist and composer extraordinaire, the legendary Mr. Scott Joplin, passed away in 1917 at the age of 48. Composer Carl Valentin passed away in 1918 at the age of 64. Composer Francis Davenport passed away in 1925 at the age of 77. Cosima Liszt, who was the wife of classical composer Richard Wagner, passed away in 1930 at the age of 92. Composer Mikhail Ivanov Boretsky passed away in 1936 at the age of 61. Composer Bozidar Kuntz passed away in 1964 at the age of 60. Jazz trumpet player Gus Aiken of the Jenkins Orphanage Band passed away in 1973 at the age of 70. Composer Alfred Whitehead passed away in 1974 at the age of 86. John Lennon's father, the aforementioned Freddie Lennon, passed away in 1976 at the age of 63. Composer Miroslav Punk passed away in 1976 at the age of 73. Music producer Bruno Kakwatrix passed away in 1979 at the age of 69. 
Singer and composer Yua Sunthorn Sanen passed away in 1981 at the age of 71. Jazz pianist Ken Kersey passed away in 1983 at the age of 66. Singer, songwriter, and Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Mr. Marvin Gaye was shot and killed by his own father in 1984 at the age of 44. Violinist and bandleader Chapin passed away in 1984 at the age of 76. Drummer Nigel Preston of the group The Cult passed away from a drug overdose in 1992 at the age of 28. Harpist Nicanor Zabalita passed away in 1993 at the age of 86. Music publisher Buddy Morris passed away in 1996 at the age of 89. Guitarist Roz Williams of the group Christian Death committed suicide in 1998 at the age of 34. Record producer Jess Stone passed away in 1999 at the age of 98. Composer Trin Kong Sun passed away in 2001 at the age of 62. Entertainer Leslie Chung committed suicide in 2003 at the age of 46. Singer-songwriter Nilo Soruko passed away in 2004 at the age of 76. Guitarist Paul Atkinson of the group The Zombies passed away in 2004 at the age of 58. Composer and conductor Alexander Brock passed away in 2005 at the age of 90. Entertainer Harold Junkie passed away in 2005 at the age of 75. Songwriter and record producer Jack Keller passed away from leukemia in 2005 at the age of 68. Lead singer Speedo Frazier of the group The Impalas passed away in 2014 at the age of 70. Guitarist Dave Ball of the group Procol Harum passed away from cancer in 2015 at the age of 65. John Lennon's first wife, Cynthia Lennon, passed away in 2015 at the age of 75. Opera singer Mikkel Seneschal passed away in 2019 at the age of 91. Jazz musician and also the patriarch of the Marsalis music family, Ellis Marsalis, passed away from COVID-19 in 2020 at the age of 85. Singer-songwriter Adam Schlesinger of the group Fountains of Wayne passed away from COVID-19 in 2020 at the age of 52. Jazz guitarist Bucky Pizzarelli passed away from COVID-19 in 2020 at the age of 94. Country music singer C.W. McCall passed away in 2022 at the age of 93. And mandolin player Roland White of the Bluegrass Bands, the Kentucky Colonels, and also Lester Flatt's Nashville Grass passed away in 2022 at the age of 83. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is April 2nd when, in 1939, Motown great Marvin Gaye was born. (laughs) 